hymns, prayers, candles, and many faithful. These are the shades of Marian devotion that enveloped the sanctuary of Deirafat on the last Sunday in October. This is a special place for the Christians of the Holy Land, located about 25 kilometers from Jerusalem and desired in the 1920s by the patriarch Luigi Barlacina. On this hill, surrounded by cultivated fields, about 2,000 people have come together, as every year, for the Feast of Mary, Queen of Palestine. They were welcomed by the servants of Mary, who have been taking care of the sanctuary for a few months now, helped by the Sisters of Bethlehem. Many local Christians arrived in some 30 buses from throughout the Holy Land, but especially from Galilee. I came from Nazareth because it is a big day for uh, St. Mary, our, uh, uh, our mother. You see, we are from Nazareth and the Annunciation Church, we pray there. And this is the holy place for uh, St. Mary. The Christians living in the Palestinian territories, as every year, also tried to attain a permit. It's true that not everyone could come, even though they obtained the permit but because they took advantage to visit their sick and their relatives elsewhere. Still, many arrived in Deir Rafat to express their devotion and participate in this celebration, as Roger, who came from Bethlehem, testified. Mary is uh, the mother of God and she is uh, the mother of, for all the peoples. She always, uh, she always nearby the human beings. And she is, she is always the, near the peoples. It's nice to see all of these people coming to pray, bringing our joy and also our problems to Our Lady. The celebration presided by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Fuad Twa, was intense and well attended. In his homily, he wished to share with the faithful the experience he had in Assisi at the meeting of religious leaders promoted by Benedict XVI on the 25th anniversary of the first meeting led by John Paul II. Everyone spoke of justice, of peace, of the dignity of man. I was there hearing about everything that we lack in the Holy Land. I would like to see these beautiful speeches applied on the ground, in practice, in the Holy Land, in the land of peace, in the land of justice, in the land of prayer that for too long has been a tormented land. It is a difficult journey for a land that often evokes violence and war, but that houses treasures of a simple daily Christianity. We are. Uh... We are real Christian people, Christian uh, family. You know, the Christian family, we love everybody. Uh, like uh, one body, if you have something in your body hurt you, it hurts all your body. That's our family. At the end of Mass, there was a procession with the statue of the Madonna, culminating with the benediction. Entrusting himself to Mary, Queen of Palestine, and with a heart full of hope, Monsignor Twal did not hesitate to send a message for the support of the Church of the Holy Land. I ask our public everywhere to not forget the Holy Land in their prayers. Do not forget that this is your mother church that needs you.